The state legislature, the regular session there, continues with two proposed changes to Alabama's anti-abortion laws. Democrats say those laws are too restrictive. WSFA 12 News political reporter Aaron Davis spoke to Democratic Senator Vivian Figures, who says she knows in a Republican-controlled legislature, she's fighting an uphill battle. I thought it was apropos to let this legislature know that women are still crying out loudly to have the right to choose what they want to do with their bodies. Senator Vivian Figures wants to reignite the conversation around women's rights. I don't expect these bills to go anywhere, not in this legislature as it is made up today. Her first bill would repeal the ban on abortions. The second adds exceptions for pregnancies that are from rape or incest. And other Senate Democrats are on board. If you are pro-life, that means you're pro-social services for those children once they get here, adequately educating them once they get here, in addition to making sure that their parents are gainfully employed once they get here. If we're going to be a pro-life state, if we're going to be the state that stands for life begins, then we need to make sure that we stand up for the kids. Now, Republican lawmakers say they do not plan to change the state's abortion law. Instead, they want to streamline the adoption process. It's a big time savings which is really important in trying to get kids into a, a permanent home as fast as possible. This is a good day for children in Alabama. Representative Shaver's bill streamlining that process passed the House with a unanimous vote from both parties. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery.